Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to talk about how you can get experience while studying. So what I'm talking about here is job experience while you're studying. It's probably one of the most asked questions that I've been getting recently and um, I guess it's a pretty good question to answer. So here we go. If I was starting out in the industry again and I wanted to get some experience before trying to get a job or to try and get a job, there are a few things that you can do which will definitely help you out. If red teaming and sort of pen testing, that sort of stuff is your thing, then the best way to get experience is to do CTFs or capture the flags. I've harped on about CTFs for years and so often that um, you guys are probably getting sick of me telling you about CTFs. However, CTFs are great for learning all sorts of different uh, pen testing techniques, uh, bug bounty, forensics, OSINT investigation, all sorts of stuff like that. They're absolutely fantastic and they are definitely the best way, I believe, to get experience and potentially even find a job. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, have a look at my video. I'll pop a little thing up there um, to explain that. But yeah, you can you can also get jobs through CTFs is basically what I'm trying to say. The other way to get experience, at least in an IT field, if you don't have any experience, is to try and get a job as a help desk officer. Now, help desk guys don't uh, really get paid a lot. They're not doing specifically security related work. And that's fine. It doesn't really matter. The point is that you're getting job in IT and that's sort of what's going to stand out. So for example, if you're coming from like warehousing and you want to get a job as a cybersecurity engineer, they're going to look at your experience. And if you only have certifications that say on paper, you can do the job, they're going to want to know that you can work in a team in an IT environment. And an IT environment where you can get a job without any experience is on the help desk. So that's sort of where I point people towards. And you can get any sort of help desk role, like even in like a, a large organization, that would be really good, except that um, the limitations are there on what hardware they use themselves and sort of what software that that company is using as well. So they're sort of limited to their own little bucket. But if you go for a job, uh, on a help desk at a MSP or managed service provider um, or even like one of the bigger telcos, you're going to work across a whole bunch of different technology and you'll learn so much. And it's it's a really good place to start. It's something that's it's not going to take you forever to sort of get through your certifications and enough experience to then move up into something else. And like I've, I've seen a couple of guys who have come into the SOC team where I used to work and they had two years of help desk experience and they had a security plus, CCNA and I think that was pretty much it. And they, they got a job in a government security operations uh, center as analysts, which is a, a pretty good job where you can earn some really good money and sort of work your way upwards from there. And like an analyst is basically just a glorified help desk, but more of a security analyst. They're obviously focusing more on security tasks rather than everything else. So, you know, it's it's all more of the same, really. And if you can just get some experience as anything help desk, that's going to be the way to go forward for pretty much every job in cybersecurity. Um, if you want to learn some extra stuff on the side though that won't cost you anything but will sort of give you enough experience to um, learn the basics and even some really advanced stuff on what you're doing, CTFs are a great resource and I, I harp on about them so much because they are such a great thing to do. I'd be interested to talk to anyone though who has sort of gotten a job without any experience which does sometimes happen. A lot of guys have come from um, like a programming role, for example, and then they've gotten into cybersecurity and, and gotten these great jobs, and that's awesome, and I'm really happy for those guys, um, but it doesn't happen that often. So I'd be really keen to talk to someone, if there's anyone out there who is in that exact position. If, um, yeah, if you are that person though, leave a comment below and I'll reach out to you and try and grab you 
Um, if you have any questions about this video or um, sort of anything else around how can I get into cybersecurity without any experience, throw it in the comments below and I'd be more than happy to try and help you out as much as I can. As always, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one guys. Catch you later.